Tahiyyatu lillahi Wassalawatu Wattayyibat I'm repeating Tahiyyatu lillahi Wassalawatu Wattayyibat Once again Tahiyyatu lillahi Wassalawatu Wattayyibat So I know it's a bit long but you know now this is like I think episode 21 or 20 so hopefully you guys are picking up as well so before we go into what it means and breaking it down let's take a look at where we actually say it so we are on the section of tashahud so it's called tashahud in Arabic you don't have to worry too much about it but you can call it testimony of faith uh, just just so that we have something to refer to in terms of what we are working on so if you go back to the PDF and remember the link to this document with all this translation, transliteration that I'm showing you and the PDF is all available in the video description. Okay, so if you look at this uh, document that we had, so this is where we were. Okay, so we, we looked at, you know, how you perform your first raka or first unit. Okay, so it was kind of showing you this. And, uh, you know, we, we said that, look, you will complete this. And then it was saying that, you know, you will do steps three to 11 to perform your second unit. Okay. First one, and then your second. Now, and uh, once, then you, when you come back and you perform the prostration in the second unit, you will perform two prostrations. And then after that, you will actually sit instead of standing up. So in the, after the first unit, you stood up, right? Now you want to stand up, you will actually sit like this in this position, right? As you can see in this position. And then again, you the videos that are with the apps and whatnot, they can actually give you a you know, proper view of how you sit and all that, right? This video, this playlist is more about pronunciation and understanding. So as you're sitting, you have your finger raised and pointing and all that. Um, and what you will do is you will be reading this. Okay, so this is what we are working on, uh, which is, you know, section 13 in the book, in the PDF. So this is what we are working on at the moment. And I will record maybe four parts of this, and this will cover that. So once you are done with this, okay, we'll, we'll review that again, but just to give you an overview. Now, a couple of things can happen. If you're praying only two units, so if you're praying a voluntary prayer with two units, uh, or if you're praying Fajr, the morning prayer, which only has two units, after that, after reading, you know, this Tashahud, which will be four episodes of its own, you'll basically go on to steps on page 28. We'll cover that later. If you are praying, you know, Asr, Dohar, or Aisha, which has four units, what you will do is you will stand up and perform your third unit, fourth unit, and then you will go on page 28 to complete the prayer. So completing the prayer is a separate step. We'll talk about it later. Um, if you are performing your Maghrib prayer, what you would do is you would you know do your second and then you would basically uh, do do this uh, the shahud and then you will do your third unit and then you will complete it. So I hope that's clear. Obviously, your teachers and mentors can explain you better as well in person and answer your questions. This video series is mostly about you know self help with uh, pronunciation. So let's take a look at what this means and then we'll break it down in terms of transliteration. So here you are starting a conversation with Allah in, in this position and you're starting with saying that look, all perfect compliments, prayers and pure words are due to Allah. So we use these things to greet people, our celebrities, our favorite personalities, but what it really and truly belongs to is Allah. So that's what you are affirming. That's what you're saying in the start of this uh, section on, in the start of this remembrance of Allah or this prayer, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So remember that you are talking to Allah, right? See, look at the pronouns that you're using. You, you know, uh, you're talking and addressing Allah, Allah, the, the glorious. Okay, so here, let's let's break it down. Okay, so you have at ta hiya hiya. So if you recall, we did something similar, which was iya. In, in chapter one of the Quran. So this is hiya. So attahiya tu. Attahiya tu. Lil. Lahi. So now you can see I'm using capital H and differentiating it with lowercase h. So lahi. Otherwise it would be lahi. 
So if you can notice it, good. If not, let's not worry about it. At-tahiyyatu lillahi. And then I have a capital S here. So was, was. Otherwise, if it was a lowercase s, it would be was. Was. Sala. Was sala. Wa. Wa. Tu. Okay. What. Again, capital T. What. Toyibat. Okay. So if I were to, you know, so you can pick us, you know, syllables by syllables and try to join them and then you will have a complete sentence. At-tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibat. Okay, so I'll see you in the next episode then. I think we'll have like four for uh, this. <laughs>